It all happened here at Brad Metzger's Test Kitchen in Los Angeles for the Chef's Roll Center Stage finale. Here was our idea tie emerging talent with A-list mentors. One of these lucky chefs would win an awesome apprenticeship at one of the best restaurants in the world, all expenses paid. How good are those restaurants? 19 Michelin stars between them. First, we had the qualifying rounds. From there, the four most promising chefs were flown to LA for a final test. To compete, they got some new duds from Carlos Garcia and his lost car chef apparel. Knitted hats, gold tweezers, and some other gear from Chad Minton, founder of True Cooks. Brandon Dooley from Venice, California. This guy's worked at the Ritz Carlton Marina Del Rey for the past 10 years. He's moved his way up and now he's currently Chef Tournant. Fatima Ali. Fatima is originally from Pakistan. She runs a pop-up called Van Pakistan at Smorgasbord in Brooklyn. Her specialty, modern street food. With just six years in the industry, she's already won Chopped on Food Network. Logan Kendall, representing Alabama, Logan's been in the industry for five years. He currently works as Chef de Partie under David Bancroft at Acre in Auburn. Joseph Bott, he's worked at fine dining restaurants all around Virginia. Right now, he's the executive sous chef at the University of North Carolina, Greensboro. Our panel of judges, all-star chefs, food experts, you name it. They had one goal, find the chef who not only has the chops, but also a great attitude. The four finalists were put to a series of tests. First, the appetizer challenge, using Miner's Bacon Base and a culotte steak from the Texas Beef Council. This is a culotte tartare cob salad with a blue cheese bacon dressing I made with Miner's Bacon Base and decorated with Fresh Origins Petite Mint Lemon, Micro Radish, and some edible flowers. I really wanted to highlight the seasonal Californian ingredients of a cob salad with avocado, tomato, and some sourdough. And there's obviously a little quail egg in there as well because you can't have a cob salad without an egg. This is a beef tartare served on a salt and vinegar potato chip topped with bacon aioli made using Miner's bacon base and garnished with Fresh Origins Micro Radish Firework Leaves plated on Art Cardinal Canyon Ridge Plateware. I chose the bacon aioli to complement the beef to give it the smokiness and I chose the salt and vinegar chip to give it the crunch and the acid that it needed. This is a Texas Beef Council culotte steak with lemongrass sauce, molasses whipped goat cheese made with bacon base, barbecued pecans and fresh figs made with fresh origins pepper flowers. The inspiration for this dish came from uh, my grandmother's barbecued pecans and also the figs that I would pick out of her garden. I uh, figured that they would pair really well with the beef that we were provided. The lemongrass adds a nice brightness to the dish along with the pepper flowers to give it a little bit of spiciness so it's an all around well-rounded dish. This is a beef and bacon tartare using culotte steak and miner's bacon base decorated with Fresh Origins micro arugula. I really wanted to balance the saltiness of the bacon base with something sour and sweet, so I incorporated some creme fraiche and some orange into it. Then the entree challenge. Our chefs had one hour to butcher and cook a whole striped sea bass from U.S. Foods. This is a seared striped sea bass with pine nut jasmine rice pilaf, a coconut lemon ginger foam, and a mushroom mustard seed and curry leaf temper. I really wanted to highlight some of the quintessential Pakistani ingredients that I grew up with, and the curry leaf and the mustard seeds bring that bitterness, which really complement the lightness of the coconut foam. And I plated everything on the Art Cardinal Terra Stone plateware, and I garnished it with some beautiful white and multicolored micro flowers from Fresh Origins, along with a few micro arugula. This is a seared striped sea bass, which I served with a carrot puree, Anson Mill blue corn porridge, topped with pine nut gremolata, and finished with Fresh Origins micro radishes, turnips, and carrots. I chose the carrot puree to play off of the micro carrots and I used the tops of the radishes, turnips, and carrots in the gremolata. I used apple cider vinegar and lemon to give acid to the plate to cut through the richness of the carrot puree and the grits. This is a sea bass chowder risotto with fresh clams, bacon, leek, chive, fried potatoes, and micro celery. It's a take on a salt cod brandad, but I use sea bass instead and risotto instead of potato. And I uh, incorporated traditional clam chowder components, hence the clams, bacon, leek, and chive. This is a striped sea bass crudo from US Foods with poached fresh origins, micro turnips, and beets. The flavors play well with the sea bass crudo. It's a really fresh fish. The beets, persimmons, and turnips all worked well together because they're really fresh ingredients. I was able to show off all of them separately while still allowing them to meld well together. Finally, the chefs were paired up into teams. Their challenge was to make the ultimate dessert using Calibo chocolate. 
We did a chocolate hazelnut fritter. The hazelnut fritter has Calibo single origin Ecuadorian chocolate. We incorporated it into a marshmallow meringue. We made a hazelnut butter and added that to the fritter batter and fried that off. We made a vanilla bourbon ice cream and garnished with the Calibo chocolate crisp pearls. This is a Calibo single origin Ecuador fig bread with forage walnut crumble, basil, simple syrup, dipped figs, plated on Art Cardinal Canyon Ridge plateware. The inspiration behind this dish came from banana bread that we ate growing up as kids. We wanted to use the Calibo chocolate to just give it a really nice sharpness and the origin microflowers gave it a sweetness as well. The figs really brought out a lot of flavor. The simple syrup that we dipped it in was delicious. And the winner of the first ever Chef's Roll Center Stage, Fatima. <gasps> <gasps>